Marseille is essentially a vacation destination for a week. I don't understand why a lot of the French people I know recommended me to not go there. It was such a wonderful place. I mean, on the streets you see French tourists all over the place. If it's really that bad, why would French people themselves, you know, go there? I think this is a conspiracy. They just want to keep the city for themselves. But anyways, I just got into uh, our next destination. The name of the city is nice. Actually, the city is very nice. High five. We concluded our short yet spectacular adventure in Marseille in the previous episode. This time, we're ready to head to the final French city we'll be visiting in this France series before returning to Paris. Despite being in the same region as Marseille, the next city is 3 hours away by train due to the winding coastlines and towering mountains in the Provence and Alps region. Yeah, remember the landscapes of the Colonque National Park? You got the idea. Even a high speed rail could no longer be high speed in this part of France. So I took the cheap local train that would take the same amount of time. I like the high speed rails. There isn't a seat assigned to you, so you have to find a seat for yourself. Yeah, maybe let's try this one. If time has never been a constraint, I always prefer local trains. They are cheap, easy to hop on, and have plenty of space on board to fool around. Three hours later, I reached my destination! Nice! Sorry, it's pronounced Nice. I went straight to my hotel for check-in upon arrival. The hotel is located inside a typical Niçois style building. Because I came during the low season, I got a very good deal on my hotel room. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to afford it with my current level of YouTube production budget. In fact, there are a lot of things in Nice and the surrounding area that are unaffordable to me. Alright guys, so welcome to Nice. Yeah, this city appears uh, much more upscale than uh, all other French city I've visited so far. This region, the Côte d'Azur, is one of the most uh, affluent regions in the world. And uh, uh, I saw the weather forecast that says that uh, tomorrow, actually starting tonight, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain real bad. It's kind of really windy right now, so I can tell a storm is probably coming. But yeah, this wind is nowhere near the wind we experienced in uh, Churchill, Manitoba. But anyways, let's uh, start exploring the city right now. A really good thing about the hotel I booked is that it's only one block from the ocean. I just need to find a place to cross uh, to the other side of the sidewalk. Wow, look at the color of the, uh, of the ocean here. No wonder this section of the Mediterranean is called Côte d'Azur which means the blue coast. If you have the doubt, how can the ocean be this blue? Hey, trust me, it is this blue. I did not distort the color. I saw it with my own eyes. If you have been to Nice, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's uh, indeed very windy along the coast, especially uh, by the beach. But hey, this is a uh, once in a life opportunity. You gotta enjoy the life of some of the most opulent and wealthiest people on earth. Yeah, including enjoying a wind in a scale like this in a setting known as the global elite's playground. Cote d'Azur, the Blue Coast, certainly lives up to its name. To better enjoy the beauty of the sea, I couldn't think of another way other than taking a walk along a very famous promenade that stretches seven kilometers of Nice's coastline. Yeah, right now I'm walking along the uh, promenade des Anglais, so uh, it translates to the uh, promenade of the English. I'm not sure uh, why it's called that. If you know, make sure you leave a comment below and uh, let me know. Seriously guys, I'm living the best of my life right now. I'm enjoying the kind of wind that rich people enjoy all the time. I mean, if rich people really like this, there's one place I can absolutely recommend and that's uh, Churchill, Manitoba. Elegant hotel and casino buildings along Promenade des Anglais revealed that modern Nice was probably conceived as a vacation destination. I might be wrong, but the free concert inside a nearby city park confirms that Nice today is certainly a vacation hotspot. <laughs> If there is the modern Nice, there is also the old Nice. Following Promenade des Anglais, you will see the historic Nice that was already there before the age of mass tourism. Alright guys, so now we are entering the uh, old city of Nice. After uh, figuring out what's going on with the old town in Lyon, I think I pretty much figured out what the old city might look like uh, here in Nice. Is it going to be what I think it is? We'll find out. Exactement! Old Nice certainly resembles more like an Italian city rather than a modern French city, aka Paris. In fact, Nice, or in Italian, Nizza, has strong historic and cultural ties to Italy. The reason why Nice is a French city today is because the majority of people in Nice voted to be part of France rather than Italy during a plebiscite in the mid 19th century. If you really want to compare Old Nice to an Italian city, the good news is that the Italian border is less than one hour away by train. Feel free to do that anytime, I guess.
I would say so far it's in line with expectations. Yeah, this old town is mostly for uh, tourists, I think. It's way too clean and uh, way too nice. Wait, isn't a city that's way too clean and way too nice actually a good thing? I mean, this is definitely not a good representation of France based on what I've, I've seen in uh, Paris, in uh, Lyon, Marseille. Okay, okay. The whole point was the old niece was different from everything else I had seen in France. Alright? I felt like that the entire old town was dedicated and preserved for one purpose only. Tourism. Uh, to be honest, it kinda reminded me of one place. And that is the happiest place on earth. Disneyland! <laughs> The old town of Nice kind of reminds me of Mean Street America in Disneyland. And it's the same feeling here, of course. And uh, you know, this old town doesn't feel like there's anybody here living here. It's just mostly for tourists. Actually, you know what? For rich tourists. Maybe it is Disneyland. I mean, the tickets to go to Disneyland isn't cheap either. Yeah, you can see that Disneyland is for the rich, and so is here. Don't get me wrong. I still had a lot of fun in Old Nice. In the end, I encountered the same problem many others did at Disneyland. Good times going by way too fast. The day was getting dark, and I decided to return to Nice's old town the next day to see if there's more than meets the eye hidden in this seemingly purposely built UNESCO World Heritage Certified Tourist Trap. And based on what I have seen so far, it's barely 5 o'clock, but all the restaurants in the old Nice area have opened for dinner already. <sighs> However, that being said, based on my uh, culinary experience in France so far, I can tell you that none of the good restaurants would open until 7 or 7.30 p.m. Yep, that means I had to wait until at least 7 p.m. to have dinner. So I spent some time around Place Messina, Nice's main square. Afterwards, I try to visit Nice's main basilica, Basilique Notre Dame de l'Assomption. However, a mass was underway and I decided to check it out the next day instead. For now, let's head to somewhere unholy. <laughs> Sorry, I mean it was how the decor of the restaurant I chose appeared to be. I had escargot, lemon cake, and the most beautifully cooked chicken I can remember that I have ever eaten. Yeah, I'm just taking a walk after dinner. Ooh, that was a very delicious and huge dinner for sure. And of course, you know, the place where I am taking a walk right now, Promenade des Anglais. It's a, uh, you know, ideal place for taking a walk as well. I really like this restaurant. Ta-da! Ha ha ha! Yeah, they say it's gonna rain tonight. But right now, if I can see the moon, the sky is pretty clear. But they say it's always calm before it gets stormy. I guess I'll just enjoy the rest of my night. I 
actually I'm heading back to the hotel and then walk because the uh, the forecast says it's going to rain in probably one hour so and it's going to be lots of rain coming down I guess that's it oh I'll see you tomorrow oh by the way on a side note if there's one city in this country that we can call the city of light I would say so far it's, it has to be Nice oh well this is what happens when you have too much drink at dinner our adventure will continue in my city of light the next day what's going to happen next follow me to the next episode Thank you.